Cat Williams currently has the entire internet in an uproar right now because of his recent interview with Shannon Sharp on Club Shay Shay. As many of you are aware that in this interview, Cat Williams gives his honest input on a lot of recent events as well as the past on how his interactions with different comedians as well as his success or lack thereof is a result of the industry as well as their view on Cat. He's brought to the forefront a lot of controversial discussions that many of us as viewers had no idea of and it's got a lot of us curious as to how things operate in Hollywood behind the scenes. Now while all the stuff surrounding Cat Williams in this interview with Club Shay Shay is giving a lot of entertainment to us as viewers, I don't want to miss what's happening to our brother Jonathan Majors. If you're new to my content, my name is Midway, I represent SP Media TV, and what I do here is a show called FYO, F Your Opinion, where I discuss topics, celebrity news and events, as well as different content and media that we as consumers view and give our opinions on. Now this is a small channel, so thank you to all my returning people who have subscribed and coming to view more content, as well as those who are viewing for the first time. And if you're new here, stick around for a little bit, you might like what you see, and if you do, Please consider subscribing and sharing this content for the masses. It helps the channel grow. You know how the YouTube stuff go. All right, let's get into it. Now, this past December, our brother Jonathan Majors was dealing with a court case of misdemeanor assault with his ex-girlfriend. Now, as you know, he's been recently convicted of some of the assault charges in that case. Two of the charges have been dismissed, but he was accused for two of the other charges, one of them being misdemeanor reckless assault. Now, what does this mean? As many of us are aware of, Jonathan Majors is an up-and-coming star in Hollywood, playing many roles in different movies that pretty much was having him on a propelled rocket ship trajectory in Hollywood to be one of Hollywood's biggest black stars of the coming age. One of the biggest characters that he was playing was Kane the Conqueror in Marvel's Ant-Man under the Disney Corporation. Now, as a lot of us know, Disney is responsible for a lot of content that is family friendly and oriented. So businesses have their ethics and principles as to how they conduct business and how they want to be portrayed by the viewer when it comes to how they're representing their business culture. So why is this important, right? With Jonathan Majors playing roles in different movies, these movies are owned by corporations and entities that have a standard that they want to uphold. With Jonathan Majors catching this case, it looks bad not only to him, but to the people that hire him as well. Now, this is just my opinion, but with his black skin, the charges that are alleged against him hold more weight to the eyes of the people who are in charge of Disney. So, this morning, Good Morning America dropped the interview of Jonathan Majors speaking for the first time since he's been convicted this past December. And in this interview, he states his true and honest opinions about what happened in that actual incident that none of us were there for, as well as the ruling of the jury on his case and what he believes should happen to his career after said events. Now to me, this video is very important because I don't want all the controversy surrounding Cat Williams to get us so lost in the events of what's going on with our brother Jonathan Majors. This man's career is on the line over some allegations in the court case that he's been found guilty of, even though us as the viewer has seen the evidence presented to serve as contrary to his conviction of the case. We thought he should have been getting off. Now in this interview with Good Morning America, Jonathan Majors mentioned that as the verdict was coming down, he was afraid. Now, why is this important? As a black man in America, some of you may not be aware of this, but when it comes to the justice system, we haven't been treated quite fairly over the years. I'm, I, I, listen, I, I know this. I know this is a shocker to a lot of y'all that us black men in America have not been treated fairly when it comes to the justice system in America. I know it's it's news. It's news. Brand new. Now, why would he be afraid? It's a black man with an alleged assault. On a white woman now none of us were there so I'm not here to say that he's guilty or innocent that's for the court to do here's where Disney comes into play when it comes down to the viewer in our opinions on the alleged event a lot of us try to prejudge what has happened because whenever we hear negative news with celebrities we tend to want to lean towards the side of he's guilty already 
So I'll give credit to Disney for waiting for the verdict to come back before they decided to part ways with Jonathan Majors. But when it comes to Jonathan and what he's going through, he said he was afraid, as he should be. Because like I said, we have not been given fair justice when it comes to the Justice Department and how they handle us as citizens. He mentioned also, he was like, how is this possible? Based on the evidence that was presented, the bruises that he had on his body, the camera footage of him running away from an incident. Now the video showed him running away from the scene and her chasing after him. That doesn't seem like somebody who's afraid of Jonathan Majors. If he's attacking you, you're so distraught, yet you're running and chasing after him down the street in public at that. If you're doing that in public, we can only imagine, that's just my opinion, that when you get home, you probably be doing some crazy stuff too. And the fact that she was recording him earlier on in the conversation meant that she was trying to build a case in some fashion that she could probably use against him in the future. Now to bring this back to Jonathan Majors and Disney, and something that kind of kind of clung to me about something Jonathan Majors said was that he mentioned the video and if you were to flip things around, he said, now listen, when you watch that video and reverse it, Imagine a white woman running down the street in fear and a black man behind her chasing after her. That man would be shot and killed in the streets of New York. Now, while that sounds like some kind of a scene from a movie, we have historical evidence of this actually happening. So when I hear Jonathan Major say things like when that verdict was coming down, I was afraid. He already knows he's not about to get treated fairly. And viewing this, I can only imagine what other people out there in the world are viewing who understand what Jonathan Majors is going through in that whole situation. And here's how you know, at least in how he represented himself through the whole course of that trial, as well as in this interview. He took full accountability of everything that he believed he did. Did not run from any of it. I mentioned that type of integrity of a person's character when I mentioned my view on Cat Williams and his interview on Club Shay Shay. If you haven't checked out that video, please be sure to check it out and there's a link in the description. I gave my opinion on that, had a little comedy with it, but I thought it was a pretty dope interview. Now, as I said, my reason for doing this video is because I don't want us to get so wrapped up in the celebrity nonsense that we forget that people's real lives are under attack out here. My prayers go out to the young lady, I think her name is Grace that was the other party in, in this trial with Jonathan Majors. I do not want to act like I'm stepping on her, her story or her plight of what she went through in that relationship. My whole reason for this video is to shed light on what your boy Jonathan Majors is going through. He's going through real life situations that has taken away from his career that we believe he was on a track to be one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, one of the biggest black stars in Hollywood, man. And now all of that has been derailed because of this incident. Now these are just my opinions, right? As this show is geared around the opinions of the viewers of the content that we consume. But as I was reading the comments on the video from Good Morning America, I noticed that a lot of people were in agreement to how I feel as well. So let's check out a few of those comments. KCN says, so much talent. This is why you should reject toxic relationships at all costs. It never leads to anything good. That's a really good point. In this interview on Good Morning America, Jonathan Majors mentions some of the things he went through with her in the past and says that he should have left a long time ago. She asked him a question in the sense of what he could have done differently in that situation. He said things like, I should have never been in that car. I should have been ran. Also, I should have never been in that relationship from the get go. That's accountability. That's him being aware. Now hindsight is always 2020, but the people you have relationships with can have a great impact on your future. Trust me, I know this all too well from the situations I've been in in the past, and I've tried my best to learn from them. And I'm sure a lot of you as the viewers can speak about that as well from some of the incidents you may have been through. Leave some of your stories in the comments. I would love to read about how you've kind of been through some of the same life lessons through relationships that Jonathan Major speaks on. Jonathan Major speaks on his career and how he believes it will start to ignite back up again in the future. And Mayflower hopes the same thing too. They say that I believe him and I really hope he can get his career back on track. Marvel isn't doing too good right now and I believe he's innocent and will work again in the future in Hollywood. I do too man. 
Jonathan Majors is a really good actor. His facial expressions, how he goes in and out of character, how he's able to adopt to pretty much any type of role in the industry. He was one of those actors, man, that I see could be close to the Will Smith Denzel level given time. So I really do hope that his career does get back on track, man. I really, really do. Jonathan Majors, man, I'm praying for you, bro. And as I wrap this one up, I want to speak on this last comment that I'm going to read because it talks about how we are treated in the justice system and why it's important to what Jonathan Majors went through talking about him being afraid. Vince asks the question, why weren't his injuries considered admissible in this trial? Now, there's twofold things happening here. When you're on trial for a thing, prosecution brings forth evidence to address said thing. If there's other incidents around that that happened and evidence about that, some of that evidence might not be considered admissible because it has nothing to do with the prosecution and what the charges are brought forward for. Now, I'm not sure if I said that correctly, but it's pretty much, we're here to talk about the incident and if he's guilty or not only. If we're here to talk about the injuries that happened to him, that is a different trial. That's when she gets put on trial. So I understand that as well. So when I clicked on the replies to Vance's question, this is what we got. Fact says, oh, you really don't know? That's insinuating that when it comes to us as black men, the justice system does things to us to put us at a disadvantage that takes away our ability to defend ourselves in court. And Shane Young agrees by saying, right. Like this is what they do to us, man. And it's just not right. This is why I want to cover this topic, man, because I don't want this to get lost in all the events surrounding Cat Williams. Salil says, exactly. That's when you know the judge got the call or was just personally biased against him. How in the hell can his injuries not be admissible in anything fair? The jury can only deliberate what they see. Facts, man, facts. When an incident happens, I believe the jury needs to be able to assess the context of said event. And without his injuries being admissible in court, the jury is left to conclude that he's the only aggressor and he wasn't acting in a form of self-defense. Even though he's running and she's chasing after him, it may be seen as hard to prove that he was in a position of defense without the video showing her in some form of attacking manner assisted by the cuts and scrapes and injuries that he had on his person. That Jake pretty much cleared up some of the reasons why it wouldn't be admissible in court with this comment here. He says, in any case, the veracity of the evidence is left to the jury and not the pretrial process. It was excluded because the DA wasn't prosecuting her and the only question before the court was whether or not he injured her. As I said before, he's on trial for attacking her. So the evidence that was brought forth should be about the case and the prosecution trying to provide evidence for that. On any note, situations like this happen in real life, man. Granted, the Cat Williams interview was one that yielded high entertainment. But as viewers, man, I don't want us to get too caught up in the gossipy stuff that we don't act and shed light on people like Jonathan Majors in the situations that they're going through. He's a celebrity, but he's still just as human as all of us. It could be you in this situation, man. Anyway, man, this is FYO. Everybody want to be heard. Everybody want to be right. But at the end of the day, it's just your opinion. So, F your opinion, man. If you haven't already, like, follow, subscribe. Appreciate you, man. Anyway, man, we out of here. Thanks.